what's up guys Kings Reaper here now I'll be doing this quick guide on hideout and I wanted to give you some tutorial tips or guidelines on how it functions what you should be focusing on and what items you need to upgrade your hideout so basically the hideout is where you can craft different stuff where you can upgrade your stash you can do a lot of stuff here but first of all uh, you'll notice this icons and each of them pre represents one of items inside your hideout and right next to it you'll have the level of it so for example my illumination is level 2 while my ventilation system or vents are level 1 um, basically how you can move through your hideout is using your keys for walking A and D to move left and right if you press W, you'll switch the camera to the other side of the hideout. Same goes if you press the S key. So W and S change the camera view, camera angle, and with A and D you can move left and right. You can also enter your hideout, like so, with your PMC, and you can walk around inside it. You can also, once you upgrade your or build your shooting range, you can come here and try out the weapons presets that you created like so uh, so basic items that you should be focusing on and keeping will be shown right now on the screen now this picture I took over from Tarkov Viki and you will be able to find the link down in the description where you can also download this picture or find it and it's a good starting thing to, like for someone who never played this game it's gonna be a basic point of telling you what items you should keep and what items you should not. Other than that, you should focus on building some basic stuff in your hideout because when you have, when you just start, you have nothing. Most of the stuff in hideout costs only money to build. Now, if you're really just starting and never played this game before, uh, I would suggest that you don't upgrade immediately everything. Uh, you should probably go with the med station level 1 because it's gonna allow you to produce saluba kits and that is going to be one of your first quests that you're going to get or take and when you produce them right now in hideout they are counted as items found in raid and it's quite cheap to produce this saluba kit so as you can see I would need one painkiller, one bandage and one splint combine them all together and in 22 minutes time that is required to craft it, I would get a Salua kit. Also, if you find meds, like this pile of meds, you can produce cheese or AI2 med kit, but most of the players call it cheese. Once you get deeper into it, you can also upgrade your workbench, which is also part of my other tutorial in which I explain a bit more why it's important it has to do with presets but you can also craft ammo for certain guns you can craft grenades and all the other stuff that you might need for quests or that you might need for upgrading your hideout like for example these wires uh, other than that you can slowly progress through your hideout upgrade the things that you find most important also, not everything from Hideout is shown here on this screen. The reason for it be is because for some of these things I don't have uh, required materials and they are simply not being shown but on this line right here down at the bottom of your screen you can use your mouse to slide left and right to see all your stations, all the stuff that you can upgrade in your Hideout and if I go completely to the left, you can see that there are some stuff like air filtering unit, Bitcoin farm, boost generator, and these things are not shown here. So if you want to be sure of what you need, what you want to build, you can always look down here and maybe find something that's unlocked but not being shown right here. So for example, boost generator. For that, I would need to have water collector level 3, nutrition unit level 3 and some more items to craft it. Same goes for every other thing, so like intelligence center, I would need vents level 2 and one intelligence folder. So this pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh.
And before we leave, I forgot to mention here on the left side, you have your turn your generator on or off button, which is important. So for example, my generator is now on and only now can I start the production of certain items. If it's off, you won't be able to start it. Also, just for example, let's start producing this. So it's 22 minutes to produce three of them. If I turn my generator off, it's immediately gonna go up to two hours and 26 minutes. But sometimes if you're at the end of your playthrough of your game, it's smart to just turn on the generator, put some stuff for the production that you want to have tomorrow, and then turn it off because it doesn't matter if it's gonna produce two hour or eight hours, it's just irrelevant. Pretty much this wraps up our quick tutorial or guide on hideout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next episode and next tutorial. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification buttons to get all the information on my upcoming videos or live streams. Thanks.